Uh, today I'm going to do a quick review for you on the Innovative Marine all-in-one uh, desktop reactor. It's the, the Minimax desktop reactor. I um, figured it was a good time to do this because I'm moving some stuff around and doing some cleaning and a water change. But uh, So as you can see now I got it mounted inside the tank so that you guys can see it. Um, normally it's mounted back in my second chamber in the sump. Um, there's not much to really talk about as far as this goes. You just play with it a little bit to get it uh, set at the water level and tumble you want. You do that by uh, putting it in the back and making a mark on it uh, for the water line, moving it back forward, setting it back to uh, where the tumble is you want it. This way it tumbles the same front and back as it, as it tumbles the same in in the back as it would in the front. You can kind of That way you have it set the way you want it. So right now, as you're looking at it, it's kind of set at a high tumble. It's, this is this is what it looks like while it's running carbon. Um, I ran carbon in it initially when I put, when I first put sand in and uh, first added water in to just kind of help it uh, clear up the water a little bit. But one thing I'll say about running the carbon that I found, um, you're supposed to run it with a sponge on the bottom and a sponge on top. Um, I run it with a sponge on the bottom and two sponges on top. It just seems to work better that way um, as far as getting the tumble right and not having the carbon flying all over the place. I usually set the, the, the foam a little lower, but just so you guys can kind of see what the reactor can do, I have it set a little higher. All right. Uh, now you can see it running, uh, this is running bio pellets, this is on a uh, uh, low tumble. Uh, I forgot to switch the uh, reactor down and set it a little lower before on the carbon, but it goes much lower. You kind of see it in this video running the pellets set on a low tumble, it kind of just just cruises along there. It, it, it's, it, it's got a nice low setting on it so that you're not grinding everything into, into you know, a fine dust. But uh, so here it is running the pellets. There's no foam in here whatsoever. And I've found on, on the reactor running the pellets that this kind of seems to be the appropriate amount. Because it's tumbling, you can't really see exactly where it's set, but it's just a little bit less than half. Um, they tell you to go off manufacturer's recommendations, but that's kind of tough to do because the reactor is so small. So you can't, you actually can't run as much as you would like to. I can put more pellets in here. Um, but it does just doesn't seem to uh, tumble quite as well. Um, maybe if you ran it for a little longer and let the pellets kind of wear down a little bit, it might work a little bit better. But um, I'd rather just run less and have it work the way I want. So now I'm going to turn it up a little bit so you can see. I'm sorry, turn it down a little bit so you can see... Uh, how it is on its absolute lowest setting. You see it barely moves. There's there's some movement in there, but not necessarily a whole bunch. I'm not sure what the benefit for that would be, but but it, it can do that. So now I'm going to crank it up. This is this is running fully open, um, and as you can see, it it kind of moves a good amount there. Um, and as you know, all your air bubbles and everything settle out, it'll move even more. Um, right now, it's not getting quite as much movement because I just put fresh pellets in here just just for the purpose of the video. But uh, fully open, it, it, it moves them around quite a bit. Now I'm kind of stepping in front of the camera so you can't see. But what I'm doing here is I adjusted it back down just a little bit. And I marked the top part of the reactor and a little bit onto the side glass so I could set it exactly uh, where I wanted it to run. Um, this way, when you move it around and switch it from front to back, um, you can see exactly how you had it set. Because once it's sunk, it's pretty hard to see, especially on this particular tank where it, you know, it fits nice. It's got a nice tight fit into the back. So once it's back there, you can't see how it's tumbling. So by having it in the front chain, front part of the display tank and then marking it, I'm able to tell exactly where I want the uh, tumble to be. And that's it. Thank you.